Hey, thanks for joining us. My name is Chris and you're watching The Headlight Revolution. You can find more about us and the products that we sell at www.headlightrevolution.com. Today, I wanted to show you a really, really cool new product. I think you're really gonna love it. This is one of the most innovative LED solution products that you've ever seen. Um, nothing else has really ever existed like this in the platform and the capability that this product has. It's really exciting. They're affordable, tons of uses. Um, and we're gonna show you a couple different options that you can use these for on our 2010 Toyota Tundra behind me. This is called the Lightning Strip from GTR Lighting. It's a seven inch long chip on board technology LED light strip. It's housed in a black anodized aluminum housing. Uh, it's totally waterproof, so you can have it on the outside of your car or under your car. Uh, you can use it as a daytime running light, as a puddle light. You can light up the bed of your truck. You can use it under the dash or in the trunk of your car. Uh, you can use it as a custom blinker because these come in all kinds of different colors, white, red, blue, amber, um, and they're super bright. Check this out. So you can see they are insanely bright, and this is the red. Red and blue and amber are gonna be the least bright. White is way brighter than these. But you can imagine the type of application. You could make these a custom tail light, or if you want a red accent lights under your dash, or really anywhere. So like I said, they're an aluminum housing. You can bend them a little bit. They're not exactly flexible, but the LED is capable of bending. And if you use some equal pressure along the edge, the aluminum is also capable of bending. Um, the thing I like about these is that they're totally waterproof and they're insanely bright. So many applications. This is such an exciting product. Nothing like this has ever existed before. Here is white. It's like a 6,000K white color. As you can see, these are way brighter than the red one. And I've, I've even had people, I've even seen people use these as a daytime running light or like a fog light. Um, you want to add some extra light to the front of the vehicle, slap these on the front bumper, either double side tape or use a stud mounting kit and wire them up to ignition and then you got a DRL circuit right there. They're also bright enough to be used as a reverse light. This will help you add light to the back of the vehicle. Um, also if you have a truck, you can light up the bed of the truck with these. One of these on each side is gonna light up the entire bed of the truck. Here's the blue. You can see it's a really uh, good blue color. It's not dim or light blue. It's a very solid, deep blue kind of a color. It's pretty bright. It's not as bright as white or uh, amber, but you can't really expect that from blue. These have so many applications. If you have a boat, you wanna put accent lighting on your boat, this is the perfect product. Do you have an emergency vehicle? You wanna add really slim, uh, you know, maybe flashing blue and red lights. This is the perfect product. Do you want to have accent lights on the inside of your vehicle or even underbody lights on the outside of your vehicle? These are perfect for that. They're super bright. They don't draw much energy and they come in all these different colors. Blue is a huge hit. And last we have amber. This is probably the most exciting color of all of them next to white. If you ever wanted to add like a custom blinker inside your headlight, do a projector retrofit or a custom paint job, uh, you open up the headlight and you put some kind of LED accent in, this would make the perfect retrofit product for doing custom blinkers. Like I said before, you can kind of bend it. Um, it's waterproof. They look really, really, really nice. You don't have to hide anything. Uh, or if you're building a custom vehicle, you need to come up with some kind of blinkers, whether it's uh, a trike or a snowmobile, or a motorcycle, or a rat rod, or your truck, you wanna add custom blinkers, this is a super easy way to do just that. When you open the packaging to the GTR Lighting 7-inch Lightning Strip, this is what you're gonna get. It's two LED strips and a mounting kit. Now, you might have seen a product kind of like this from a different manufacturer, and uh, we're pushing this one because it's the best. Not only is it brighter and it has more LEDs in the same size housing as other manufacturers, but it also has better waterproofing, it has better cable management, and it has different mounting options that nobody else has. So first of all, if you look at where the wire comes out, it's actually slotted. So you can either mount it flat and have the wiring, and have the wiring coming out the end, 
without pinching it. Or you can drill a hole through whatever you're mounting it to and run the wiring straight out so you won't even see the wires. Also, you'll see that there's a lot of black silicone where the wiring comes out of the circuit board panel. So that's gonna help with any dust or moisture from getting in there and you'll be avoiding corrosion because of how well that's sealed up. For mounting options, you've either got the 3M double-sided tape, which uh, anybody who's selling this kind of a product basically uses that as an option. Here's how the GTR lighting product though is different than everybody else. You get these studs that thread into the corners of the aluminum housing. And then what you do is you would line it up to whatever you're gonna attach it to, make a mark of where you want your two holes to be, push your studs through those two holes, and then use the supplied nuts and maybe a washer or something on the backside and hold it in place. So not only do you have the option of using the 3M double-sided tape, but you can also stud mount them flush onto any flat surface. This is why this product is better. It's brighter, it's more waterproof, and it's way easier to use. On this truck, how we're gonna install the lightning strips is actually put them under the door panel and act as a super bright puddle light. Now we've already got Toyota trucks, LED logo projectors up front, and we got GTR lighting logo projectors in the back. Um, and you can see it's, it's installed in the bottom of the door panel. Uh, so we're gonna remove those and put the lightning strips in place so that they work the same way. There's nothing wrong with the logo projectors. We just wanna try something a little bit different. So we already have the logo projectors installed in this Tundra, uh, but we are gonna put a different product in. So I'm just gonna remove them. This isn't necessarily like an install video to show you how to do it on your vehicle. It's mostly an example video to give you ideas on how you can use it yourself. So we already have wiring tapped into um, the positive and negative on our factory puddle lights. So we're just gonna reuse that existing wire, especially since we're no longer going to have the logo projectors in place. This should be a pretty easy install on this particular vehicle. We've had the logo projectors installed for about a, I don't know, probably eight months or so. And uh, everybody loves them, everybody gets a kick out of them. But every time a new product comes out, you know, we gotta try it out. So there's our logo projector. It's no longer installed, but we still have the wiring ready to go. Um, the lightning strip has just this little, probably a three foot long power wire. And so we're just gonna feed it up the same way that it was installed uh, for the logo projectors. Now here's the deal. All it takes is 12 volts. You got two wires to hook up and the product will turn on. Doesn't matter if that's from say an ignition source or a switch on your dash or blinker wires or you know, really anything. It really doesn't matter um, how you do it. You just gotta get 12 volts hooked up to these two little wires. Now if you are not a professional installer or you're not a very good amateur installer, I'd recommend uh, contacting your local install shop you have anybody around where you live that specializes in remote car starters, car audio, window tinting, lighting, that kind of thing, those guys are the pros and they're probably gonna be your best bet to figure out how to do the install in your particular vehicle. All we're doing here is giving you ideas. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use them on this truck and you can take all this new knowledge of yours and decide how to put them on your vehicle. Now here we're gonna do red. Red looks really cool in this black truck. 
So I've made my connection. Now I'm gonna solder the wires. Soldering is always better than T-taps. Now if you aren't uh, paying close attention, if you did exactly what I was doing and made a mistake and touched the power and neg ground wires together, you probably pop a fuse. So, you know, this is not an install guide video. I'm just showing you how it can be done to give you ideas. Now, I love this idea of this product on this particular vehicle because it's such an easy wiring job. You've already got this in the door 12 volt light that turns on when you open the door. And that's really what I wanted to use this product for. It's perfect because it's so slim, it can fit in between the bottom of the door panel and the uh, interior of the truck. So what you're gonna wanna do, if, if you wanted to do some under, under door lights, what you have to do is get the lightning strip and just kind of mock it up under here. You should have like a flat surface, whether it's on the plastic door panel or um, under here on the actual metal portion. Just mock it up and see if it'll fit. And if you have enough clearance between the bottom of the door panel and the top of the uh, threshold in the door opening for the lightning strip to fit, then you can put it here. This makes a really cool puddle light. You open the doors at a car show or at a cruise in or the grocery store, you just get this explosion of light and color. It's pretty cool. So I got my connection made now, that's done. Now that I'm putting the light back in, um, you see that we already have a white LED in there. And since I'm here, putting a red accent light in, I might as well pull that guy out and put a red one in. That way we don't have any conflicting colors. I think that's gonna look pretty cool. So secure your wires, hide them real good. This one's real easy because it just goes in a little cabinet. And now we've got to mount our lightning strip. We don't need to use the stud mounts. It would come through this anyway, but if you have a different type of door panel where it looks like it would be a good idea, if you can use the stud mounts, it's definitely the most secure method, but I really don't think that we're going to have to. The bottom side of the door has been cleaned with alcohol, move the paper, exposing the double-sided tape, line it up how you want the strip to be and push it in place. Hold it on there for a few seconds so that it gives a chance for adhesion to happen. The more pressure you give it and the more time you hold it in place, the better that should stick. And then you're done. Now we've got a super bright red puddle light. Now we could do this with white, we could do it with blue, we could do it with amber, any of the four colors that the GTR lighting lightning strip comes in would work great for this application. Just to give you some ideas of the wide range of versatility that the GTR lighting lightning strips have, uh, I just want to show, point out a couple ideas that you could use. Um, if you used amber or red, you could come back here and do like a custom blinker or a brake light. Um, you know, if you're building like a hot rod, you can do them vertical. I see a lot of guys with uh, trucks, they do the Cadillac type lights, so you could do that same kind of style with uh, an amber or a red lightning strip. You could do a line of fire kind of a thing underneath the tailgate. A lot of people get those LED strips that span all the way underneath the tailgate. So you could do amber ones on the far outside for blinker. You could do red ones in the middle for uh, brake lights and parking lights. You could do white in the very middle for reverse lights. Um, so amber and red have a lot of possibilities on the back 
but also so do the white ones. I mean, you could mount these right flush on your rear bumper for some really, really wild uh, reverse lights. And again, you could put them under here. You could even hide them so that nobody even sees them until they're turned on. It could be a, a stealth reverse light. You could throw them up underneath uh, your tonneau cover or just in the truck bed and light up the truck bed. You get one over here facing in and the other one over there facing in and you got tons of light. Also, if you wanted to do some accent lighting, whether it's under the seat or under the dash, you can really light up the floor of the vehicle and really put them anywhere. We got red under the doors now. You could do these blue ones, whatever color you want to change the look of the vehicle on the inside. And all you really need is one lightning strip under here and you get a ton of light. The cool thing about this product is it's not very focused. It's uh, really quite diffused. So just one lightning strip really spreads a lot of light everywhere. You buy a pack of these and put one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side, and you'd be good to go. A lot of Tundra guys actually put a daytime running light product right under the headlight up front, and you actually have to replace this whole section. But with this product, using the stud mounts and the flush mount wiring option, you could actually mount a lightning strip right there under the headlight, curve it to match, and you're gonna have the most low profile and one of the brightest DRL products that you could ever imagine. Very cool product for a daytime running light. Whether you have the factory bumper and you can put it down low, or you know up here on a different portion or you could do the fj cruiser thing and even like put it on your side mirror um, because it's so skinny and so small you could just run it right in through the mirror into the cab and use it as a daytime running light you could put these behind the grill for different accent lights you can do red or blue or white or amber uh, whatever color you want to do for behind the grill really the sky's the limit with this product and white makes a great daytime running light for any vehicle the last color that works really, really good up front is gonna be amber. Again, you can put it in the DRL spot and actually have an amber daytime running light. Uh, the low profile nature of the lightning strip makes it super easy to put right underneath the Tundra headlight or any vehicle for that matter. You can even put it up here right above the grill in this kind of cutout area. If you're doing custom headlights, you could open the headlight up and use this as an amber blinker instead of the traditional bulb. And a project that I'd really love to do on our Tundra sometime is actually put it right here on the flat side of the uh, side mirror. I think this would look really, really cool and it'd be a fantastic safety and style item. It fit the Tundra really, really good. Of course, these are all just ideas, whether you want to do something to your Tundra or to your go-kart, anything in between your sports car. Uh, the, the lightning strip from GTR Lighting has tons of applications. It's flexible, it's waterproof, it's super low profile, different mounting options. So, you know, we just wanted to show you how cool it is. And if you want to get a hold of a lightning strip, contact us at www.headlightrevolution.com. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel. We got more videos coming out soon.